Kate Green. Name, address, age. My first real lie. It was easy. They knew I was lying. It was part of the deal. All very grown up and mature. You can have three days here and I have to sort myself out. I didn't want three days.
1972 with Hardwick Girls School when the school went comprehensive and I started off in the lower school office and oh goodness when I think of what it was like that first day then in 1974 October I moved up to upper school uh, to be Mr Elliot's secretary Mr Elliot was the um, headmaster and I continued when uh, Mr Seeger took over as the uh, headmaster. I've seen many changes in the school, many changes of staff. Uh, I'm sure that some have been for the better. Um, I don't know about the worst, I won't say anything about the worst, but uh, I have seen many changes and now that the school is changing again, I, I don't think things are going to be quite the same as they were, but I'm hoping that in September we're going to be quite happy when things get sorted out. They are steps and back on the board to show you what I mean. If you wish to step any back, then it's easy enough to run. You can step any back. That man there. And I hope yours is a lead to the mine. Remember that I'm not using the rule, it's all three and what you're doing is practicing before you use a proper glory. Yeah, don't sit it on the eye level line, but put it below the eye level line. You never lay with your eyes on the pavement, do you? Come down below that point. You see? Now, what's the matter with yours, young man? All upright must be upright. Why is all yours upright? Okay? They're all going for it. And don't put them on the eye level. Come below. Come below. Come below. Come below. Come to the school in 1972 when uh, Derby School was changing to a comprehensive school. Uh, it wasn't an easy change because it was not an easy situation to get three schools together and three groups of staff. But over the years, with many dedicated staff, we have managed to build a good reputation in the area for academic standards and for good behaviour. I'm sorry that the school is changing and I'm sorry that many of the staff are not going to be here next year, but I hope that all the staff, whether they're in the new school at Derby Moor or whether they're elsewhere, 
will find as much satisfaction in their job of teaching as they have at Derby School in the past.
I'm Norman Elliott. I came to Derby as the headmaster of Derby School in 1961 and I remained the head until 79. At that time we were in St Helen's House which is a lovely grade one building in the centre of Derby. It was a nice gentle school that I came to. We had uh, two form entry at 11 and we'd just gone on to taking a form at 13 plus. So we only had about 400 uh, boys there and uh, staff of 21 or 22, one secretary and when we were lucky, one lab steward. But for such a small school, they had a terrific number of activities. In 1961, they were getting a lot of publicity for their success in rowing. I think they'd won at eight or nine regattas. They'd done very well with the Duke of Edinburgh's award. And uh, we had a man named David Newbold, a musician, but who he was fanatical about cricket. And so the school hadn't lost a cricket for several years. But most of the talk in those days was about the new building that we were going to have in Little Over. There were 